What is going on YouTube? Joe here with Color Nation Media and welcome back to the fifth and final part of our live Pokemon Showdown UU session. And uh, we're coming off a win in the last part of, and that came after a loss, so we're, you know, just kind of bouncing back and forth here a little bit. We're going to try to end on a high note today. I hope you guys have been enjoying the session thus far and uh, the team and all that jazz. I've been having a good time, so... You know, that always helps. Uh, before we get started today, just a friendly little reminder, if you haven't done so already and you would like to show some support to the channel and the series and all that fun stuff, uh, you know, it does help out when you guys leave uh, a like or a comment or whatever you would like to do. Um, uh, I know a lot of you guys just stop by and say hi every day, and that is enough for me. It shows you guys are enjoying the content and that you're just overall nice people, which is more than we can say about me because I'm a terrible person. We all know that. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. Maybe half kidding, half kidding. All right, Alakazam leading off against Mermina here. That is interesting. I predicted uh, the Darmanitan actually to lead things off. Although the likely, probably the likeliest lead would be the the Galvantula. So I don't know what I was doing there. I guess not thinking very clearly. Uh, I'm going to protect to see what you're going to go for. Energy Ball? Uh, no, Calm Mind. Oh my gosh. A set up Alakazam. That is the scariest thing I've ever seen. That is the scariest thing I've ever seen. Oh my gosh. I am I think I just lost already. I think I just lost already. Uh, I'm gonna go into Houndoom here. And there's the Psychic. Can we take a hit? That is, that is the question here, the ultimate question. I will go for a Dark Pulse. Will I? Or a Flamethrower? Go for a Dark Pulse. Cause it is super effective. He goes with a dazzling gleam. That's not quite a KO. And, oh my gosh, he took that very, very well. I think we still uh, get out sped here. If if he's max speed and timid and all that jazz, we do get out sped. Dazzling gleam. Do I have anything I want to switch in on that? Uh, yes, I'm gonna try to switch in Excalibur here. He does go over the Dazzling Gleam again to resist a hit, and I don't think he's going to predict a Sucker Punch, so that's what I'm going to go for. Bam! Down goes the Alakazam. We managed to get out of that without uh, losing any Pokemon, so that is kind of cool. And we got our Mega Evolution off on that Mega Houndoom, so, you know, we can outspeed some things, which is always nice. Out comes the Aerodactyl, and I really can't touch this. So that is a problem. That is a legitimate problem. Uh, I'm going to go into... I think we can't even outspeed this thing with John, honestly. But I'm gonna go into it here because I would like to try to burn you. I really would. Oh, and he goes for the EQ. Okay, that's perfect. I kind of feel like that Darmanitan might want to switch in on a potential Will-O-Wisp. So, Volt Switch might be our best play here. And that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna Volt Switch. Double Edge, critical hit, and I'm dead. I don't even understand what just happened. I don't even understand what just happened. Our Choice Scarf user got outsped and killed by a double edge in one hit. That is confusing as anything to me. I'm gonna Scald here. Ah, he goes with the double edge again. At least he takes all kinds of recoil from that. And we get another, we get a crit. The crits are flying left and right. I don't know if that mattered because it was a Mega Aerodactyl and he only had 52% remaining. But sheesh, that was crazy. That was a bit crazy. All right, out comes the Tentacruel. Uh, you're probably going to try to Toxic me, right? It's all these things like to do. Um, I kind of want to go out into Chuck for that. And that is exactly what I'm going to do. I hope you Toxic me. I hope you Toxic me. No, confuse right. Oh, you're that kind of person. And by that, I mean you're not even really a person. You're not. You're not a person. In my eyes, we are, we're not equals. I'm just kidding, that sounded terrible. Uh, Hydro Pump. Oh wow, he went for a water type move. I was actually, uh, I can't believe I said that. That was disgusting. Don't ever don't ever listen to anything I have to say. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a bad person. I said that a lot of times today. I'm gonna stop. Scald! Stop going for a Confuse Ray! I deserve that, I guess. Uh, that, that annoys me to no end. You guys know that uh, that's probably the single thing that gets on my nerves more than anything is people that think that confusion is okay in competitive Pokemon. I just have no words. I have no words. Uh, that gets on my nerves more than para flinching, which is saying something because para flinching is bad. Acid spray. Acid spray confuse ray. Get the burn. Come on. Yeah, there we go. All right. 
You're going to probably go for Confuse Ray again. I would guess. So I'm just going to protect for burn damage. I don't even care. Yeah, he's just going to spam Confuse Ray. Why do you do this? Why? Uh, I guess we'll throw up a Wish. As the Galvantula comes out. Okay, that's actually kind of bad for us. With our special defense at minus two, there's no way we're surviving a hit. Uh, I could predict a... Hmm... Sticky web, possibly. So we could go out into Rufus. If we manage to get Rufus out here safely, but he could go for an electric type move. So I'm going to go into Excalibur. That's the safer play. Uh, he does go for the energy ball. So actually, Houndoom probably was the better play there. But uh, fair enough. With what he has left, it appears as though Earth Power is the way to go. And he will switch into Tentacruel, which will die to that. I guess he was physically defensive. I don't know. I'm thankful that that thing is out of the way, though, because apparently he just wants to spam Confuse Ray, and I'm not fine with that. Not okay with that. All right, Galvantula, enough complaining. Joe, stop complaining about everything. It's Pokemon. Grow up. My gosh, you're a terrible person. Why do I keep saying that? I need to find a new line. That is the line of the episode, and it's old already. Sucker Punch. Yeah! I'm surprised he didn't try to set up Sticky Web at all. Now he just has Darmanitan and Lucario remaining. So we're in a good position here, but we are in by no means out of the uh, the woods here. The proverbial woods. Uh, Flare Blitz probably is coming, or EQ. He has the EQ that only does 31% because Mermina is a monster. Throw up a Wish. Uh, no, that's not really necessary, is it? We can Scald you. He has Zen Headbutt. Is that just for flinches? I, I somewhat forgot that you even got Zen Headbutt. I will wish now. There's the Zen Headbutt. And, um... Yeah. I guess we have to protect, so I will. And he goes for the Brick Break this time around. Is this person just not a competitive player? He has, he has really, really weird sets. So maybe I shouldn't be so salty about just uh, the Confuse Ray. It seems like he doesn't really know exactly what he's doing. Uh, we'll throw up another Wish, and then we'll Scald to kill him. That way we should be at a decent amount of HP. And that was the goal with the Lucario coming out, because Lucario is dangerous. And... Let's see. Zen Headbutt, Brick Break... Earthquake, right? And then Flare Blitz, but he didn't go for it because I guess, you know, not very effective. That's the thing. Uh, now, this thing could be a problem because extreme speed is an issue. I'm going to go for Scald and hope for a burn, basically. He's going to set up Sword Stands. Come on. Get the burn. We get a crit. No burn. I don't think you can one shot me. So I think we're good here. Uh, okay, you can one shot me. I was not expecting that. I was not expecting that at all. Uh, but we do have our sturdy attack with bags. So we can go for the nice little vault switch and that'll probably KO. After this next close combat and another special defense drop, I'm going to say yeah, because Lucario is pretty frail. Look at Fortress picking up a kill with a vault switch. I love that. Um, yeah, that was, that was the only match that we've had so far. Oh, he did throw a GG. I, I feel kind of bad for not uh, putting one back. I haven't done GG like at all this session because I'm silly. We'll go over one more to end this off. So we already got a victory. If we lose this one, that is perfectly fine. Very common uh, UU Pokemon here. And then some lower tier Pokemon as well. Crobat, Chandelure, Honchkrow are like on every other UU team. Dewblade is an RU staple. Uh, Benit is as well. Or, um, did I say Benit? Well, I don't know how I pronounced that, but that was not correct. Ah, oh, he said good luck, have fun. Let's be nice to him. Because, you know, we should be nice. Being nice is good. It's good for the soul. Halloween party. Uh, I'm not sure what you mean by that, but sure. <laughs> I guess. Uh, let's see. I, I really don't know what to start off with here. Um, Crobat lead, possibly. So with Crobat leading off, uh, I'm going to lead off with John. No, Calypso leads off. He's going to frisk my Choice Scarf. And I will Volt Switch out. I'm not too afraid of anything you have for me. 
Um, I'm trying to think. I mean, Will O Wisp is really the scariest thing that you could do. And he doesn't get Prankster the first turn, so he still could be going for it here. Still possible. What do I want to switch in on this? Um, I'll go with Mermina. Because I'm physically defensive. Uh, he does go for the knockoff. Ah, knockoff. I, it's it's one of these teams uh, that I just don't really have anything that wants to get its item knocked off. Except for maybe Rufus because, you know, it can't get knocked off. So now I'm going to have to rely on Wish a lot. Out comes the Scarecrow predicting the Scald. I wasn't going to go for that. But okay, fair enough. Um, what are you going to want to do to me? I don't know. I don't know what you're going to want to do to me, but I'm a little bit afraid either way. Um, 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 let's go into Rufus. We have the wish. I should be fine. He goes for the sub. Okay. That is frightening beyond belief. Uh, I will go for the flamethrower. I know the chandelure is here, but I think he'll want to try to get a hit off first. Let's go for the flamethrower. I don't think he's switching. No, he's not. All right, there you go. And he gets a teeter dance off. All right, um, now I would love to predict the uh, Chandelure to come in, and I because, you know, Flash Fire, but uh, he's one of those people. All right, well, yeah, the confusion it gets on my nerves like you can't believe, and that's why I try to just be quiet instead of raging about it, because there's no reason to rage. No reason for raging. I'll go for the Dark Pulse here. Wow, he stayed in. And we get the flinch. Ah, that is that is justice right there. That is justice. I'll go for the flamethrower now. And I hurt myself with confusion. He gets another sub off. Unbelievable how silly this is. We get a flamethrower off. Wow. Surprising. He has drain punch. Great. Uh, uh, flamethrower again. Now he's going to bring the chandelure out. No, he's not. He's just going to let it die. Okay, I'm so confused. I'm so confused. Why, when you have a Flash Fire Pokemon, would you not want to switch that in? I mean, we took all kinds of unnecessary damage because I was trying to predict stuff that he just was not doing. I guess I'm too low on the ladder to make predictions. I don't know. I really don't know. But anyway, uh, Cacturn is a huge threat, so it's out of the way. I don't agree with how he used it. I feel like it's a better Sword Stance user or... I, does it get nasty plot? I feel like it does. It can definitely uh, run a special set though, like sub SD or something like that. This is going to outspeed for sure. Where's Rachel? I don't get that reference at all. I really don't. But I'm going to go out into Mermina here because we should be able to take a hit from this. Cross poison. Alright, I'll throw up a wish as he goes for the toxic. He's all about his status. I'm surprised that this doesn't have Confuse Ray, actually. Kind of surprised. Actually, we might see that coming here. As I'm going to Heal Bell, and that should put us back up near 100. Actually, it's going to be 100. Balloon Chandelure. Okay. Um, I'm going to Scald. He does go for the Calm Mind. And that's still a 2 at KO. His Balloon is popped. So we could go for, you know, Earth Power later on if need be, but he doesn't have anything to switch in now that Cacturner is dead, so I can spam Scalds pretty much all day. Unless he has Energy Ball, which could ruin the fun here. Let's go over the Scald again. No, he's just going to go for Calm Mind. I think, I think you're dead. Pretty sure. Yep. Oh, we get a crit. That may have mattered. I don't know. How much did it do before? 62%? Uh, I'm going to say that did not matter. It would have been close, but uh, now this thing comes out. I will Scald you. You're probably going to go for Brave Bird. There we go. That did so much damage. Oh, we need a burn here badly. And we get it. And I'm not going to let you do anything except die. And he forfeits. Ha <laughs> ha. Sorry. That just made me very happy that he forfeited because I don't know. I don't know. Let me just say this. I'm a bad person. <laughs> I've said it a lot. So... Uh, we're going to stick with that. I don't know why I'm laughing. Um, but anyway, that's going to bring the session to an end. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. 
Uh, next time is probably gonna be PU. Probably, because, you know, I hadn't done a higher tier, and by higher tier, I mean, you know, OU, UU, I consider anything below that a lower tier. Uh, but I hadn't done a higher tier uh, session in a while, so I figured I'd jump into UU, and I wasn't a big fan of the players I ran into and some of the strategies, so I think I want to head back down to the lower tiers. And we just did LC, we just did NU and RU fairly recently, so we'll jump back into the PU, and I'll bring some silly shenanigans, and it'll be fun, it'll be a good time. So, uh, yeah, that is it for this time. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure you're leaving a like rating or a comment or whatever uh, you would like to do. And I will see you all next time. But until then, game on.